I remember October 4, 2004 really well. It was a historic day. Virgin, at quite a late stage, had sponsored the project, so we were very excited. It was a fascinating time. We had a very aggressive goal, and we didn't have much money. I created the I'm Sorry X Prize because I've wanted to go into space since my childhood. I grew up in the 60s expecting that what I saw with NASA was going to continue and we were going to all have a chance to go into space. My interest in space started when I was a young girl growing up in Iran. I felt like all the answers to every question I would have is out there. As we explore frontiers, it's during those times that we create the greatest innovation ever. to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Uh, any eight-year-old kid could tell you in 1962 what the purpose of the Apollo program was. To beat the Russians. Ultimately, it didn't continue, and we didn't all have that ticket to the moon or, or Mars. So I asked myself, how am I ever going to realize my dream of going into space? Then I read one day that Lindbergh actually crossed the Atlantic in 1927 to win a $25,000 prize to try and make his dream of flight between New York and Paris happen and creating today's $300 billion aviation industry. So I said, wow, what a powerful mechanism. I can use that to make my dreams come true, which was opening up space. We are announcing here today the $10 million contest to privately build the spaceship. The Ansari X Prize was the first X Prize that the foundation did. It was a $10 million prize for the first privately built spaceship to go to space twice within two weeks. 26 teams from seven countries are in pursuit of the Ansari X Prize. 26 teams from around the world joined the competition, and it became clear very quickly that a company called Scale Composites, run by Burt Rutan, was going to be the front runner. We developed from scratch a manned space program with Paul Allen's money, no other funding. I had to take a big risk to do it, but I did because the result would be huge. It was a covert program, so I, I couldn't go out and get help here and there. Couldn't afford to do wind tunnel testing. I was the airfoil designer on it. Usually you go someone else to get airfoils. We did seven rocket firings, and three of those were flights out of the atmosphere. I did a very large percentage of all the detailed design. But I think the most important element on Spaceship One is the feathered re-entry. You can re-enter upside down and eat lunch while it straightens itself out. So it was a very aggressive build-up to um, open up the envelope. I didn't sleep the night before. I was nervous, praying, God, please let them have a safe flight. We're live here at the Mojave Airport on the ground, but as you can see, airborne is White Knight and Spaceship One. Two, one, ready. Release, arm, fire. first launched, Mike came back and says, it flies like a dream. You know, that just struck me because it was an enormous load off of my shoulders. Radar 328. Copy that. Wow, he would not believe the view. A successful flight for spaceship. They won a, and a privately million spaceship dollar prize. The, space the, the legacy of X Prize is to make dreams come true, to make impossible dreams come true. 
Space will be a big part of humanity. I think the future will look very bright. We're living in a day and age where small teams of individuals can literally do what only governments and large corporations could do before. I just love the idea of XPRIZE. I mean, it spurs on innovations in a whole lot of different fields. If it hadn't been for the XPRIZE, we wouldn't be standing here today. 26 teams spent $100 million competing for that prize and in doing so opened up a billion dollar market. We're looking at billions of dollars already invested in the new private space industry. A future which includes space tourism, mining the moon, and maybe a dozen other industries we haven't yet thought of. The most critical tool for solving humanity's grand challenges, it isn't technology, it isn't money, it's only one thing. It's the committed, passionate human mind.